Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. We got Craig Q with 20 bucks. Uh, what makes you a better leader than Jocko? Do you, do you ever watch his leadership Everything. Bits? Everything. Jocko could what, could, what could he lead you to do? Carry a 25 pound backpack across some sand? I would lead you to not be in Afghanistan. How about that? No, let's, let's, let's talk about that. What, what, what makes me a better leader than Jocko? Uh, what is jo so Jocko's thing is what? Go to Afghanistan, um, fight for uh, Jew oil money. So good leadership right there. He's going to lead you over to, Ar to Iraq and uh, get, you sh get you shot in a friendly fire incident that he then writes a book about. That's why he's famous. By the way, the reason why Jocko Willink is famous is because he wrote a book about how he's responsible for the um, accidental friendly fire death of a um, like local police force that he, they were collaborating with. That's why he's famous. It would be like if I went out and got in a car accident and killed somebody and I, and I wrote a book called, Gee, I really messed up and that got me famous. That's why he's famous. He's, you, don't, you might not know that because he's been around for like 10 years. But that's how he originally got um, big. His, uh, it might have been a TED talk or something. Extreme ownership, I think it was called. But this is, it's, it's the idea of extreme ownership of your um, malfunctions, of your, of your failures. Um, which, is, which would be like, yes, I did get that guy killed. And that's why, instead of, instead of coming up with excuses why he didn't get the guy killed, he's like, yes, I did get that guy killed. I did. And just like George Washington, I cannot tell a lie, I chopped down the cherry tree. Like, weirdly, that one admission, which is just kind of, like, to me, that's normal. If you, f if you fuck up, you should probably just, realistically, y a lot of the time, usually just st saying that you fucked up is what no, you should do. But uh, I, guess in the, I guess in the military, it's so rare that he gets a, a pat on the back for... We're gonna keep they give him a cookie and a pretzel for, for doing that. And that's why he has a... Um, it wasn't even a TED talk, it was a TEDx talk. But what's he going to lead you to do? CrossFit? What does he lead you to do? Sell supplements? And here's the, here's the other thing. If his, if his net worth is actually... Because these sites are not accurate... But if, if you see him, you see him fucking everywhere. He's fucking everywhere. Some, somebody who is fucking everywhere should have like $50 million. Why? Because if you have a personality like that, if your face is out there, if you have um, like an army of people listening to you, you should be able to monetize that. And especially if you're, if you're visibly publicly always, always pushing something, supplements, CrossFit, kettlebell, weird shit, workout plans, my book, my other book, public speaking tour, whatever. If you're always like hucking something, by the way, can you grab one of those coffee bags right there? With the Canadian flag on? No, no, that right there. Thank you. Bada bing. By the way, guys, Gold Striker Cuban Muscle Crisis is now shipping. Wow, this coffee's good. But if you are, if you're always hucking something, which you have to, you, you kind of do have to always be hucking something yeah. because the alternative is everything is a, uh, advertising supported. So you have to either run ads and this stuff, like hiring a, hiring a person to edit your podcast, Jocko's like tour manager, like the people around him who set shit up for him. It's not cheap. It's not like this is like free just because all you, all you see is him on a microphone. It's not like it's free to produce that. He, sh he should, he does need to make money. But if you're always fucking hucking something and your face is inescapable, always on fucking Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, every piece of social media, and you only have six million dollars, you're a fucking loser. Fucking, I can't emphasize this enough. And it sounds, you guys, it's, Sam's Jewish, he's always asking for money. Oh, he doesn't think, think six million's enough money? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the, the various little pieces here that elevate this into a special case. He's everywhere. 
He's always selling something. Trust me, six, for him to only have $6 million, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. So he's your leader. I would let him lead me too if what I wanted to do was go to the desert and get blown to pieces for nothing. I would let him lead me in a heartbeat. He would be my leader. But if it was, hey, Jocko and Sam, you're dropped into a city and you, it's a fight to the death. You have to kill each other. I would come out. I would kill Jocko Wilnick so easily. I would turn him into dust. Well, he would, he would run first. He would run 25 miles probably. He would run immediately. I'd be pouring gasoline on him. Fucking ninja stars. I'd be pouring gasoline on him like a, like a ninja star. But, <clears throat> um... And it just, and he, no, 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 there's also, listen, if what, if what you need is to find masculinity, then it's totally fine, if that's what you need. David Goggins, less so, because David Goggins was about this, like, just this punishing workout routine, where it's like, r- fucking run 50 miles and then run another 30 miles. The fuck are you even talking about, man? David Goggins, what the fuck are you even talking about? Jocko Willink, I do, I actually like Jocko Willink. That's why I talk about him, is because he's an interesting character to me. And if you're like, if you're, a, if you're a little worm in the mud and you need to find masculinity, and this is the, the, the for a sort of father figure you glom onto, good. F- better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Um, but if you're like, Okay, I have some testosterone now. Now I need to like figure out how to start a business, whatever, solidify my position in life. Jocko, Jocko Willink is not the start a business guy. The supplement thing, what happens if you have, he had an interesting story. Everything that, everything that came after that was somebody else coming to him and monetizing his celebrity on his behalf, which is why he only has six million. He didn't, he didn't, start the supplement company himself, the supplement company came to him and said, would you do a Jocko branded supplement? And I know this because people, this, similar people and people in these circles have come to me and said the same thing. And they give you a percentage. So it's like, he probably g- gets, you know, 20% or whatever of what the, the, what the supplement makes, which is not close to what it makes gross, the net of what it makes. Um, but it's, it's other people coming to him and monetizing his celebrity for him. That's all the... All the businesses that you see that are associated with Jocko, that's how they work. It's not like, like if, if you asked him to start his own business, he'd be like, oh, let's do a CrossFit gym. And it would just, whatever. Um, the point is, he's not the guy who's going to tell you how to like go from zero to one in terms of your own income. Like, that's, that sh- honestly, that should be Nick. If you need to know how to go to, from zero to one for your net, your net income, that's a Nick, like, so the the universe the one that works the most for the most people is get a job selling cars for the most unskilled for people who are like unskilled have nothing have no fucking idea what they're doing get a job selling cars that's like a pretty that's a good piece of advice because you go out there you get a trickle of income and you start figuring out how the world works but like this type of shit and then it not I'm not gonna I'm not well yeah Joe Rogan like Joe Rogan has Joe Rogan's day starts with an assistant going to get him a fifteen dollar green juice, okay, and then he has he go he has the the stuff that he has access to, um, and the the stuff that he's like, it's it's not the same as going as having nothing in your life, you know what I mean? When was the last time Joe had zero anything in his life? Probably forty five years ago. Um, whatever. All right. We got Alfarius with 20 bucks. Hey, Sam, is Alex Jones in the same league as Jocko? What do you think of Alex Jones? Alex Jones is way higher than Jocko. Are you kidding? Are you crazy? Come on, man. Yeah. Don't ask me questions like that. Jo- Dude, Jocko is... Here, check this out. Im- imagine... You don't even have to imagine that Jocko is 5'2", because he is 5'2", but ima- imagine if Jocko were 130 pounds. What would you think of him then? Skinny. He'd be nothing. Yeah. His co- you would be nobody. Okay. Yeah. You could do the same thing with anybody. You could do that with Alex Jones. You could do it with me. If you imagine that they're a dinky little fucking sport twink, but their wor- their body of work still holds weight to you, mm-hmm. then it means that they're good. If you imagine if you imagine Jocko Willink walking around like a like a skinny realtor, 
with a leather with a like leather jacket on. It's not that it wouldn't look right. It's just that what is it, they, there's what has he what has he done that's what it's all garbage. He produces hours of garbage. That's the other thing is here's the other thing. This is a major thing. Books back in the day, if you had a pu- if you had a book that you got published, Chris, mm-hmm. you know what a book is. I'm familiar. Yeah, but do you know what it is? A book is like I have um, I have knowledge that's so important it should be passed on to the next generation. Yeah, you want to immortalize yourself, kind of. And guess what? I've lived uh, seventy years. And the entirety of my wisdom that should even needs to be read or understood by anybody fits into 75 pages. And it's like the year that you released it, you would, the, it's just the accumulation up to then, too, also. And now, and now a book is like, I'm, I'm trying to sell something. Yeah. I have to, I, it's just another way to monetize my personality yeah yeah yeah. um and it's usually not even written it's like ghost written yeah what was the what was the question the guy said i forgot uh jocko and alex jones jocko and alex jones yeah oh yeah it's just jocko produce he he produces so much content that's relative relative to to how unique his wisdom is Mm -hmm. it's not a the value proposition is not there like Alex Jones, whether you like him or not, he could talk until the end of time, and it would be interesting to somebody. Yeah, it would be of worth, <clears throat> of value to somebody. Jocko Willing does fucking talk to the. It's all he does is podcast and fucking vlog, and make Instagram reels, and it's all the same shit. And it's only it's only interesting to people who have something like, like some kind of pathological fitness problem. Uh huh. Like, I really want a tough guy to tell me about, yeah, when I was over there in the desert, I was getting my biceps big, man. Shut up. Just go talk to somebody at the gym. Yeah. It's, that's those, the people who, um, you know what, when you go to the gym, there's people who are mad, eager to socialize. Yeah, they're the yappers. That's, if you, can't, if you can't get that, if you can't tap direct into that, you just put on headphones and listen to Jocko. It's the same thing. <laughs> really need that. Yeah. Yeah, man, I was doing floor press, man, and my triceps were getting jacked up, man. We got Night Trem with 20 bucks. Jocko means clown in German. Does it? Interesting. That's funny. 